Hello. This lecture will be angle, angle, similar triangles. Okay. All right, here we go. You did this with congruency, so we're now with similarity. Okay, A stands for angle, not sides, angle. Okay, so when you see an A, there that means, to be precise, that you have one pair of congruent angles. Okay, so even though you only see one A, there's really two angles that it's speaking of. One angle from one triangle and one angle from another triangle. Okay, so it's one pair of congruent angles. That's what that A means. So when you have AA, there's really two pairs, which means there's four angles, okay? So these are in pairs. Okay, you need to know the triangle sum theorem, which means all triangles um, sum to 180, the three interior angles sum to 180. You also need to know your angle pair relationships because down here, we're gonna reference vertical angles and here we're gonna um, reference arrowheads, which implies parallel lines, which then kicks in alternate interior angles. So you also need to know your angle pair relationships. Okay, here we go. All right, are the given triangles similar? Yes or no, but remember, you never just give me that. You have to support it with degree support, arc support, number support, and then if it's a yes, you need to write the similarity statement, okay? All right, let's go into example one. So here there are no degree numbers, but there are arcs. So can you read the arcs? Okay, well, I see a one arc, and I see a one arc. So I have a pair of one arcs. Angle D is congruent to angle L. That gives me an A. Because I have a pair of congruent angles. Remember, that's what arcs, that's what that arc symbol means. Okay, so now I have two arcs. I have two arcs. So angle F is congruent to angle U, and that gives me my second A, because I have a pair of congruent angles. Well, the lesson is angle, angle. If you can prove two angles are congruent in two different triangles, you prove similarity between the two triangles, meaning there is a proportion between them. Okay, so then that's it. This is a yes. They are similar. Okay, but you gotta give me a similarity statement. Now, everyone's gonna differ here, right? There's many ways you can write it. So I'm gonna just write, I'm gonna go D, F, E. So one arc, two arc, no arc. One arc, two arc, no arc, okay? So D, F, E is similar to triangle L, U, O, right? So notice my D and my, my, D and my L are the one arc, my F, U are the two arcs, and my E, O are the no arcs. So it's in order. Remember, this naming matters. Okay, so that's it. Okay, second one. Example two, you should know that this box here means that they're 90 degrees, right? So I know angle M Oops, is congruent to angle B, so that gives me an A. Okay, what else do I have? I got nothing, I got nothing, I got nothing, I got nothing. I have no degrees, I have no arcs, no algebraic expression, I have nothing. That's it, that, that's all they give, gave me. So I only have one A, so no, they're not similar, right? So I could do that similar. No, they're not similar. No, or you could put not similar, right? Because I don't have enough information, not enough info. We'll stop it there, okay. You gotta prove two pairs, angle, angle, okay? All right, next, third example. Here we go, we got arcs, so not degrees, we got arcs. Okay, I have a one arc, I got 
nothing else. I don't have another pair. Okay, let's go to another color then. I have two arcs. There we go. So angle F is congruent to angle L. That's an A, right? That's a pair. And then I have, oh wait, whoops, I forgot another one. And then I have this, which is also D. I'll bring it over here. So I got D, F, and L being congruent. That's it, it still only counts for one A. Remember, it's a pair. A pair is two pairs of shoes, right? You don't buy three pairs of shoes. Okay, so this is kind of an extra one. I don't have enough information. They're throwing you off. They're trying to see if you would actually take that one arc and kind of link it up to D or something like that, okay? So this is not similar. And again, because there's not enough information, right? Okay. Okay, example four. Now we have degree numbers, right? So we need to complete out the triangles and find, we gotta use a triangle sum theorem to find the 180. Okay, so we have 42 and 58. So we're talking about this one first, okay? So uh, 42 plus 58, right? So, oh, nice, let's turn it on. 42 plus 58, right, equals 100. What's 180 minus 100? 80. Okay, so this third angle is 80 degrees. Okay, so let's finish out that one then. 58 plus 80 is 138. What's 180 minus 138, right? We're using the triangle sum theorem here, and this is 42 degrees. Okay, so now let's see if anything matches. All right, I have a 42 degrees and I have a 42 degrees. Now, this is my choice of what I'm choosing. If you would have grabbed another one, that's fine. Okay, so that's a match. I have an 80 and an 80, so O goes with L. That's a match. Now, you're technically done. Remember, the theorem is angle, angle. It's only two A's, it's not three A's. It's only two. We have two, because by process of elimination, you're automatically gonna get the third. W is congruent to Z. So even though I have angle, 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 you only need two, not three. So once you hit your two, you're done. But I did all three. I like the colors. Yeah. Okay. So what's my similarity statement? Um, I'll go N-O-W-E-L-Z. So uh, I'll go yellow, pink, blue, or teal. Yellow, pink, teal. Okay, so I'll write N, oh, triangle, whoops, triangle N-O-W, similar E-L-Z. And that's my similarity statement. Not too bad, right? Okay, here we go. Five, vertical angles. All right, angle pair relationships. Do you remember this? Vertical angles are when you have two segments, two rays, two lines intersecting, you create four spaces, four angle spaces. Opposites are congruent. So north, south, east, west, or top, bottom, left, right. So this is congruent to that angle because of angle pair relationships. So angle ACB is congruent to angle ECD. Remember, you can't just call it angle C because because it's joined here, it's bonded by the vertex angle, you have to use the three to tell me exactly. Because if you're asking, if you just write angle C, I don't know which one you're talking about, the left, the top, the right, the bottom, two of them, I don't even know what you're speaking of. So you gotta be very precise. Okay, so that's an angle. All right, what else do I have? I have a one arc given and a one arc given. So angle A is congruent to angle E, and there's my A. And so there you go, it's angle, angle. I have two, right? They are because of angle, angle, right? All of these are angle, angle. Okay, so what is my similarity statement? I'll go teal, pink, no color, so A, C, B. Similar, would I go teal, pink, no, teal, pink, no, E, C, D. And this is your order. 
Okay, here we go. Last one. Okay, example three. You have arrowheads. When you see arrowheads in geometry, it implies parallel lines, and with parallel lines, it implies alternate interior angles. Okay, so first off, let's go back to this vertical angle. These two are congruent, right? So we're going to get all three because I don't know which way you guys are going to want. So HIG is congruent to JIK. Okay, oops, that's an A. So that's an A. Okay, what about the other ones? If you make these two parallel lines cut by a transversal, alternate interior angles is right here. So angle H is congruent to angle J, and there's your second A. Now, for those of you that are like, oh, Miss Kenny, I would have wanted to go the other route. That's fine. So then this is your transversal. So then these are alternate interior angles. So then angle G is congruent to angle K. And there is your third. So we only have to prove angle, angle, not angle, angle, angle. So yes, they're similar. Remember, you only have to prove two, not three. So when I put yes, that's angle, angle, not, right? This was angle, angle, right? They were all angle, angle, except for the not because we didn't get enough information. Or that, or the, um, the arcs did not match. Okay, so what is my similarity statement? Uh, what do you want to go? Yellow, pink, teal? Okay, so G-I-H is similar to triangle, yellow, pink, teal, K-I, whoops, I-J. I keep wanting to write a J instead of an I. Yes? Okay, your assignment. Here we go. Assignment, angle, angle, similar triangles. Are the given triangles similar? Yes or no. Degree support, numbers, list them like I did, right? Your assignment should look like this. Okay, so here we go. Just kind of pan it over. And then, of course, I'll have it as a PDF so you can print as well. And I just kind of drew this with my hand because I don't want the worksheets that I have. They were so much longer, and I don't, I don't want to give you that many since we're apart. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Have a great day.